I'm Quinn Myers. I'm a local resident to Shadron many years ago, and I moved here in 1960. Started high school at Shadron Prep in the fall of 60. That was the last year that it was open, and I had the great opportunity to take a course from William Artis along with a number of my classmates uh, in a, here in M Hall up on the second floor. He was a distinguished gentleman, always wore coat and tie when he was working, uh, whatever uh, the, the ceramics, uh, painting, whatever he was doing when he was in the workroom and he would walk uh, in any kind of weather wearing a New York top coat, fedora, if it was raining, he had an umbrella. Uh, he was always that sort of distinguished gentleman that seemed to be misplaced in Shadron. When he was in the classroom, he was demanding, he'd furnish us with materials, and then he'd say, these are some ways to work with this. And then he said, okay, you create something. So he didn't tell us what to do, but he would tell us how to do it. And then he would kindly tell us how well we succeeded or failed miserably. He was very candid about that, but not in a cruel way, but in a very uplifting, encouraging way. Carol Griffith was a, an art student of his in college, and she sat for him, and we have one of uh, his sculptings that's been here for quite a long time, and uh, very well done. And we also have one uh, from one of his other really good students that I just became aware today that John Kurtz did a portrait of Mr. Artis, which is on the north wall here. But he used a number of the students for models, and he was just so good at sculpting. I suppose, in his own way, uh, brilliant is a, a word that you shouldn't throw around, but in his own way, certainly artistically, he was brilliant, he was kind, uh, he was dignified. It's a shame he died so early, but uh, certainly the universe will miss him. But yeah, there's some amazing pieces here, and I'm so glad that they've put this show together. He's deserved it for a long, long time. What I consider one of his very significant works, the missing mural in M. Hall, call, I always called it Man's Reaction to His Environment. I'm not sure if if that was a formal title or not. And it covered the west wall of the Memorial Hall foyer. It was very large. It was made from 16 or 18 inch squares. It was all geometrics in, in uh, modern art. And I remember going out on the rail, like when I'd come out of the classroom, I'd go and watch and look at it because I wanted to figure out what the heck he was saying because I knew there was kind of some feedback. He came up and stood beside me and he said, well, he said, what do you think? And I said, I, I just don't know. And he said, well, you figure it out. <laughs>